Well, hello again. Here is a long neck dinosaur. This balloon uses two green 260s or any color you like and a scrap of white for the eyes. There you go. Uh, I used to put feet on this one but I found the feet really didn't do anything to make the dinosaur look better and it used up more balloon. So I took the feet off and then I had to do it in two balloons. So let's put it together. Um, I, I can't remember. I, I think I saw pictures of this. If somebody, uh, I don't know who to give credit to. I try to give credit to the person that inspired me, but I guess I'll give, uh, I'll give credit to the, uh, the dinosaurs. Okay, there you go. So, we're going to take a bit of white. Oop, try again. There, blow it up as much or as little as you think you're going to need. You will need to make two eyes out of that one. Then we will take our green right here and see I guess I've given that about six fingers, five fingers uninflated right there. Okay. I find this, uh, this first part is a little cumbersome to make, okay? So I've got a, a bubble here yeah, and then a pinch twist and that is going to be the, there's a bubble here and then a pinch twist underneath the head or underneath the mouth, guess whatever you want to call it. And uh, so anyway, this pinch twist is where we're going to put the eyes on. We're going to wrap those around a couple of times. Then if you want, like what I'm going to do, I'm going to soften this just a little bit. I'm going to tie it. That way when I split in the middle, and hopefully get to the middle, then the air doesn't go too far down the end. Take our uh, knot here and wrap that around the pinch twist a few times. I do like to have a bit of a bit of uh, extra line there and I'll show you why in just a moment. I use that basically to hold the head together. Anyway, back to here. You will put your, uh, this part is going over the head but we want this very first part to be at the back of the head. So we're going to wrap all the way over. Then I'm going to think it'll line up about there. That'll be the, the, the top of the head. I do a pinch twist. And I'm going to wrap that around a couple of times. And with this, if I can, I'll wrap it around the pinch twist which uh, where the eyes were located. And then I'll even take the white balloon that I had and I wrap that around the back of the pinch twist. I just find that lots of times this balloon stretches out. Stretches out and um, so I like, I like to keep it as tight as possible. Now I'm going to slightly squeeze the green and we go around the pinch twist. There. Hopefully you're seeing all of that off. So that last part went around here. And there the, the eyes right there. And that'll be the, call it the mouth. So you can hopefully see where we are. Uh, then I'm going to go down. Make, what I try to do is make the, the neck, two pinch twists, and the legs out of one balloon. I try to do that. It doesn't always happen. And if it doesn't happen, then you just end up with a shorter tail because you've used maybe part of the tail in the front legs here. Okay? Which is no big deal. Anyway, we're going to twist into a pinch twist. And a pinch twist again. And slight squeeze. I'm going to try to figure out where approximately halfway is on my on on the remaining balloon here, so that the tail of the balloon will get tied into those two pinch twists up front. I find at the front it, it's kind of important to have two pinch twists. It, it definitely keeps the head in the right spot. I find with one pinch twist sometimes the head wants to go one direction, but it, whatever. Okay. So there's the legs. Let's grab the little bit back legs and the body. Once again, this we've got six fingers for sure. Okay. Grabbing that right there. Our 260 is tied into the uh, two pinch twists. Wrap it around. Hold it in there any way you want, really. Now we're doing the body, we're going to do a pinch twist, 
Then I'm going to do the legs. Of course, the legs will be the same size. At least that's the, the idea. Or well, really close. You know, they're balloons, right? They don't have to be perfect. Measuring the body on the other side. Now, this is currently where we are. Now, I figure if you can get to this side, size area, you can just actually just take another balloon and go over and then you have a three bubble roll through and that's for the body. But if you want, uh, you can put little bubbles on there. Call them your spikes, you can call them anything you like. If you think it looks better, then, then you add them. You wrap those around. I did four bubbles right there. There's absolutely no reason I could not have done five. I definitely have the balloon four. Okay. Then I like to shape the tail a little bit. If you have a bit more here than you're comfortable with, tie it up. Use your cutting tool or you, of course, just pull it apart. Put your eyes on there, as in color them. I just use circles because I'm not any kind of an artist. But, there we go. There are your uh, long-necked dinosaurs. And like I say, I, I can't remember how eventually I came upon this one, but uh, anyway, please use it. Please make it better, and have a wonderful day. Bye for now.